Hi students, in this video I am going to share important tips and uh, you know tricks to how to get full 70 marks in the upcoming chemistry 2023 board examination. So nothing, uh, nothing will match the hard work and in order to get the 70 marks smart work also plays very important role. So in this video I am going to share important um, you know how uh, formulas and tricks how to remember and uh, how to go about say in inorganic in physical in organic let us see and now in this video let us go about in the different slides I am going to explain. Now we are going to uh, see like chapter wise which are the areas you need to look into fine. So if you take uh, this particular chapters like solutions electrochemistry chemical kinetics they are physical chemistry right so we need to know about the problems so what i'm trying to say go through the entire concepts from ncrt okay and then uh, note down list out all the formulas for example e naught cell so what is e naught cell how to calculate them what is iupac convention always start with anode its solution double slash salt bridge then go with the solution end with the cathode fine so e naught cell so e naught cell how will you calculate it is ec minus ea that is e cathode minus e anode here you can ask me the question like which one should be taken as anode and which one should be taken as cathode always the high reactive metal as anode and less reactive metal as cathode fine and then we have Nernst equation how to calculate e cell e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by n log of oxidized by reduced and here in this part they can also ask you to calculate maximum work which is nothing but delta g so delta g naught is equal to minus n of e naught n stands for number of electrons f stands for faraday one faraday is equal to 96500 coulombs and e naught cell so from this you can calculate delta g naught in delta g naught you will be getting in the form of joules now you need to divide by 1000 in order to get kilojoules got it and then we can also calculate um, delta g naught using um, I mean you can also calculate the k equilibrium constant by using that formula delta g naught equal to minus 2.303 rt log k here one trick one tips also for you what is it suppose if they give e naught cell and if they ask you to calculate k how will you do generally you will calculate delta g naught then you substitute that delta g naught in this formula like minus 2.303 rt log k and then you will find out i am here what is the shortcut i am teaching you is here you can use e naught cell is equal to 0 0.0591 by n log k you can use this formula this is a very direct formula within say 30 seconds to 40 seconds you can answer this question so that's the easy way fine so you can use this tips in order to save you can save time and also like you will get the correct answer very easily without spending a lot of time in solving the question okay lot of steps you can avoid that and this is first part the second part is conductivity so you can list out the formulas what are the formulas are there for example here you can calculate the specific conductivity um, like uh, 1 by r is into l by a 1 by r into l by a and l by a is called cell constant don't forget to learn the units they will ask definitely they will be asking you regarding the units fine huh? and then we also have um, uh, regarding the calculations of say uh, molar conductivity so lambda m is equal to k into 1000 by molarity and I hope you know what is molarity number of moles of solute by volume of solution in liters and then they can also uh, ask you about the conceptual questions from your like conductivity how the conductivity will be affected on dilution whether the conductivity will increase or decrease you can find out from that specific conductivity and molar conductivity from this they can also uh, you can uh, you can also calculate the cold rush law for the weak electrolytes how will you calculate the lambda naught m that is limiting molar conductivity for weak electrolytes you can use cold rush law and then from that you can also calculate the degree of dissociation lambda m by lambda naught m and then if you calculate you will be getting the answer 
and then from that we can calculate the Ka, okay, dissociation constant. And then we also have some uh, electrolysis part, like uh, molten NaCl if you electrolyze water the products at anode and cathode, dilute or aqueous solution of say NaCl or copper sulphate, reactions at cathode, anode, they are asking, okay, it's a board question also. So they will be asking. And then um, electrolysis laws are there, the first law, the second law, got it? And then finally with the batteries. So go through the NCRT once, list, out, list down all the formulas and randomly take all the uh, you know, questions from NCRT, try to solve it. From the NCRT only, they'll be asking. So if you're thorough in the NCRT, 55 plus, definitely you will be getting. And solve all the sample papers and the board papers, definitely you will be getting a very good score. Okay, definitely 65 plus. And uh, see to that you don't make any of the silly mistakes, you will be getting full marks, that is 70 marks you will be getting, all right? Next, solution chapter. So solution chapter consists of concentration terms, molarity, molality, mole fraction, okay? And then followed by the colligative properties. And here you also have something called uh, Henry's law and its applications, this is a board question. And then you also have like uh, um, a Rolls law, conditions for ideal solution, what are non-ideal solutions, how are they classified, and what are the examples for it, got it? And they're asking, like with the example, they're asking you to identify what happens to the uh, delta H mix. And you know very well, for an ideal solution, delta H mix is zero, delta V mix is zero. For positive deviation, it will be greater than zero. For negative deviation, it will be lesser than zero. Got it? So these stuffs they'll be asking. And then uh, colligative properties. So delta TB, finding out that, reducing pressure. So list out all the formulas again in this chapter. So graphs. So go through all the graphs in this chapter. Don't miss anything. Ideal solution, what's the graph based on Rolle's law? Non-ideal graph, how it will be? And uh, positive deviation, negative deviation graphs, how it will be? You need to go through those steps. And then list out all the formulas like relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation in the boiling point, depression in the freezing point, osmotic pressure, list down the formulas, and then van't Hoff factor, how to calculate them, and how, uh, suppose if they give non-volatile solute, you can use the normal formula like delta Tb is equal to Kb into M, but suppose if they specify it as calcium chloride, sodium chloride and all, you need to include want van't Hoff factor I in them, got it? So this is how you need to proceed with that, all right? And then chemical kinetics. So regarding the chemical kinetics, um, we have main focus on zero order and the first order. Oh, is it clear? Uh, second order, uh, just see the units, that's more than enough. The questions only from NCRT they're asking. So go through the entire NCRT, solve all in text example and book back. So what is the uh, K for the zero order reaction? One by T, A naught minus A. A naught is initial concentration, A is final concentration. I think in the book they are using R, you can use anything, fine. And then um, for uh, uh, T off will be like uh, T off is equal to one, uh, A naught by 2K. And then for the first order, K is equal to 2.303 by T log of A naught by A. For the pressure, especially I'll give you the shortcut here. K is equal to 2.303 by T log of P naught by or you can say PI which is P initial divided by 2pi minus pt, pt is total pressure. So this is an important formula. Um, in the book, like they would have done, so, uh, I mean, long steps. I am giving you the shortcut, which takes only half of the uh, minute to solve, okay? So this is very important. And again, the finding the units, k is equal to concentration by time into one by concentration to the power n, where n is the order. So see the difference between order and molecularity in this chapter. And also like how the rates will be affected if you increase the concentration of A, B and all, okay? And then finally Arrhenius equation log K2 by K1 is equal to Ea by 2.303 R T2 minus T1 by T1, T2. Graphs again here, problems will be asked. So just do only the NCRT in text example book back. Definitely you will never go wrong from this chapter. Got it guys? So this is, a, this is how you should prepare for physical chemistry. You need to solve all the questions from NCRT. If you do that, you won't get any doubts.
Got it? Now let's go to the next slide. So these two are inorganic chemistry. For inorganic chemistry, go through the entire NCRT line by line because they can ask any question from any line. Okay? Understand what is given in them. Right? And reasons. So especially in DNF block uh, elements, they will talk about the reasons. Okay? So you need to give the reasons from that. And then um, graphical uh, stuff, so whatever is there, like atomic radii and uh, the melting point graphs are there in the book, go through that. And then electronic configuration, be very strong in electronic configurations. Only based on that, you will be getting questions. And only from the NCRT. Similarly, in DNF, uh, F block elements, you need to know about the uh, lanthanoid contraction and their consequences and their uh, tendency to act as a reducing agent or an oxidizing agent. So that thing they will be asking from the NF block elements. Again, go through the entire NCRT. Nothing beyond that, nothing away from it they will be asking. And extractions of uh, KMNO4 and K2Cr207, write and practice. Don't read, write and practice. Similarly, the reactions, balancing the reactions. Redox reactions, don't mug up, need not mug up also. You can just uh, go by the oxidation number method which you have learnt in 11th standard, okay? Apply that, it just takes only few minutes to solve. Don't think that mugging up is very easy rather than solving. Solving is actually easy, okay? Don't mug up. Coordination compounds, again, give importance to IUPAC and then isomerism. So you need to remember the ligands charges. You need to remember the ligands charges here, all right? And then um, like uh, isomerism, then uh, you also have like theories, okay? Go through the theories, especially CFT, VB, okay? Definitely you will get questions from VB. So again, in text, examples and book back, solve each and every question from them, only from that you will be getting, okay? The next part, organic. So preparation of organic is entirely different from physical and inorganic. Definitely you can't read, okay? You have to write and see the reactions. First, give importance to naming reactions. First, give importance to all naming reactions. Complete entire naming reactions. And then, um, so, then conversions, okay? Go through all the conversions from all organic chemistries. Mechanisms. There are totally five mechanisms uh, from alcohol, ether chapter, I mean alcohol and ethers. And then you also have from aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Only from these two chapters, we have mechanism. Go through that mechanism and learn to know the um, resonance structures, drawing resonance structures, which they are asking. And then now, NCRT questions again. And here, never ever mug up any of the organic. Definitely you will forget. So no, don't do that. So what I'm saying, first give importance to naming reactions. 30 to 40% of your work will be over and then give the mechanisms you go through and then uh, see all the reactions. Try to understand what are the reactions are there and write and see better. It takes lesser time than mugging up. And then uh, try solving all the questions in text, examples and book back. Do that only from NCRT you will be getting. And then uh, biomolecules is a theory chapter and then go through all the NCRT and only the reactions are there in the glucose part. So you need to go through those uh, reactions Write and see that uh, glucose, glucose plus HI and red phosphorus, what you will get, NH2OH, what you will get, what it proves, okay? For example, HI and red phosphorus, if you add to the glucose, you will be getting straight chain, which shows that glucose contains six carbon atoms in straight chain. So like that, okay? You have reactions, no? Go through that, only from carbohydrates part, remaining all our theories, okay? So the highest weighted chapter in organic will be aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids, then comes alcohols, phenols, then comes your amines and haloalkanes, okay? Give priority, you will be getting very good score. So don't worry, it's not going to be hard paper, it's going to be the easy paper. Only thing you should know, thorough the NCRT, nothing away from the NCRT they are going to ask. So first finish all the NCRT and then go to the sample papers and then previous year board papers. And then if you do the model question banks more than sufficient, you will be getting 70 out of 70. See to that you finish the exams the way of not before and then go through the entire you know, paper pointing out the mistakes. Don't forget to write the question number properly. I see some people, they don't write the question, question number properly. So please see to that, write the question number properly and then don't try to, you know, attend the R questions, um, whatever the questions given, so try to attend. And don't frequently change the sections also. Starting from section A, go 
further or start from the section E come before like section E, section D and all. Don't frequently change the sections. Okay. So don't do that. And uh, let your handwriting be very legible and then be very clear. So don't scribble first few pages. These are the simple, uh, um, you know, petty things, but still this will take care of you to get full 70 marks. All the best students, I guess this yoga, you guys gonna do great in the examination. All the best once again. Meet you in the next video. Thank you students.